I am not dead. I'm not dead, motherfucker. I'm still alive. I'm not dead yet. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> IDCL here yet again. It's been about a cool month since I've uploaded a video to this channel. Last video being uh, when The Witcher 3 was the hot topic and shit, man. Before E3, before this Batman shit. Witcher 3 was the hot topic, and that was the last video I did on this channel. Now, mind you, I know you guys have been asking in comments of multiple videos throughout the last month. Where have I been? Where am I at? Am I alive? Shit like that. Yes, I'm alive, and this is why you guys should follow me on Twitter. Mind you, my Twitter is pretty explicit, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about everything on that shit. But you should follow me on Twitter for when things like this happen so you know that I'm still around and I'm still on my shit. But the reason why I haven't uploaded anything in like a month or so, I don't think I uploaded shit in the month of June. But the reason why I haven't a month uploaded anything within the past month is because, one, my PC has some problems at first. Like not too long after that last video I did on the channel with The Witcher 3 and shit, I started having some real serious issues with my PC as far as, uh, I think I'm, you know, I have viruses and shit pretty much. Now I'm a person who's very, very, very cautious about shit. And I've, I don't run with virus protection because I feel like I don't need it. I can monitor my computer to my best abilities. I feel like there's no better uh, monitor for your computer than yourself if you know what the fuck you're doing and me being that I know what the fuck I'm doing pretty much what I'm trying to say I've had a virus in over three or four years but the son of a bitch got to my shit and it got in my registry keys and when it does that shit that's when it becomes difficult to get rid of because once it starts locking on those files and shit and you start trying to uh, quarantine and delete shit and whatnot you could accidentally delete something that is very important so that bastard was sitting on my shit for a minute before I figured out how to get him off. Now, I know what you're saying. You could have just did a format. Yes, I could have, but I did not want to format just yet and slap a new windows on my shit. And then I'm going to be formatting again and putting the win new windows on. Or I could just, you know, update to Windows 10. But I'll be putting Windows 10 on my computer, putting the new windows on again and shit. I just I was like, fuck that. I'm going to go at this bitch head on fuck doing the uh you know the cheap way out i'm just gonna go at it head on and then i'll format it right before the windows 10 drops when i get an ssd or whatever for that shit but yeah that's pretty much that was the first part of why i stopped uploading and whatnot and second because i really burnt myself out playing the witcher 3 man I logged over 100 hours, 130, no, not 130, 120 so far into that game. It's fine. I finally beat it. Yes, I finally fucking beat it. I beat it a while ago, but I logged over 120 hours into that game, and I still have a lot more shit to do as far as the game itself and not the story. The story is done, but the game itself still has a lot of rich content in it, and that's why I love the game. But at the same time, I played so much of that shit that afterwards I was like, man, I'm cool. I don't want to play shit. I don't want to upload shit. I'm just cool. I'm just cool. And that's just really how it's been. I just haven't been feeling the need to play anything or upload anything. Call me casual, whatever, man. I don't give a fuck about none of that. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes gamers have those slump moments to where they just don't want to touch a game. And that's just how I've been feeling uh, for the past month. Now, as of right now, I'm, I'm back in my shit. I'm back on my mojo. On my games definitely but at that point in time i was like man i'm cool but uh also uh the batman shit i wanted to talk about that now i'm a little late a week or so late on that subject but uh i wanted to make this video on the day of of the release of the release of batman arkham knight but uh fuck it better late than never now, we're going to talk about, of course, the PC fiasco. The console launch of Batman Arkham Knight was flawless, damn near. It was no problems, at least from what I've heard on that side. But the PC launch, if you're a PC gamer and you got this game, you fucking know. You know. Meaning that you bought it near the launch date when it was fucked up, even though it's still fucked up. 
Because now they have it pulled from Steam. You can't even buy it anywhere. You'd have to get it on eBay or some shit like that. Get a code or whatever. But, oh my God, did they fuck up. What? 30 frames on a PC game? A triple A title? Like, there's so much shit. And I know you can tweak the i9 files. And I was going to make a video instructing people on how to do that when the game first launched. Everybody knows how now. But at the point... You know, when it launched, I was going to make a video for that. But yeah, even after tweaking the INI files, you know, getting your unlocked frame rate and shit, it still is completely unstable. Crashes every fucking where in that game. Oh, my God. Just when you think the shit is running smooth and you got it going how you want it to go, bam, a crash. That was a horrible snap. A fucking crash. That's what I meant to do. The snap had to be crisp. A fucking crash, man. And that has been my experience with Batman Arkham Knight no matter what I do. And, of course, they had one update, a minor update for the rain effects. Fuck all that, man. Get on your shit and fix your goddamn game. And from what I've been reading, they know. They knew, excuse me. They knew for months the game was like this. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have read that article as well. But how the fuck? Now, there's games out there. Now I'm starting to understand why they do this shit, what I'm about to explain right now. There are games out there, like in the last generation and even in this generation. I'm just going to use PS4 and Xbox One and PC for an example since those are the current, you know, platforms. They would release, like developers would release and publishers would release games, you know, a date for the console and then a further date for the PC. I'm not talking like, you know, GTA 5. Uh, you know, length and waiting and shit. I'm talking about like they would release the console version this week and then maybe one or two weeks later they'll release the PC version. That way they can completely finalize shit because on PC you gotta make sure your shit is stable because it's gonna be running across a lot of platforms. Now I understand why they did that shit, why they do that shit. But uh, <laughs> the Arkham Knight on PC. It's just so fucking, it felt like they were trying to force a level playing field. Excuse me, man, I'm slurring on my words. They're trying to force a level playing field for console and PC. You can't do that. You can't. You can't force us to fucking play a game at 30 frames when we build a rig that's meant to go 60 and above. No. And that's just one fucking problem. And on top of that, you have to be super, super optimized for PC. It's one thing for consoles because their architect is pretty much one shot. One shot. Figure out how, uh, what you need for the PS4 and what you need for the Xbox One. The PC has various different systems running these games. So you have to have your shit ready for all that. All of that. Okay? That's why there's fucking, uh, you know settings and tweaks and shit in every single pc game because it varies what system is being played on fuck man i'm pissed because i want to play this game but i'm not gonna play it until they completely fix it i've only logged in like an hour of this game so far and no i didn't buy it it came with my gpu thank god i didn't buy this shit because i would have returned it by now and just got the ps4 version but i'm just gonna hold hold on and wait and play something else until that shit, the fucking update comes out. But one thing I'm glad that came out of all this is that PC gamers really got a chance to let their presence be known. Now, when motherfuckers started complaining about this shit, oh, it was heard immediately. And that's why the game is off Steam right now. And that's your own fucking fault, Rocksteady and whatever that other development team they had. And WB, bitch, you, you, you in the mix this shit too. You in the mix this shit too. Y'all fucked up, man. Y'all fucked up. Now, I know it's late news, and I'm beating a dead horse with this subject, but it's still relevant because it's still not fixed. So, God damn it! as long as we're talking about it, they're going to hear it. And the more they hear it, the more they're going to be pressed to fucking fix it and prevent issues like this from happening in the future. I was going to go out and just get a PS4 cop. I was, but you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to let this shit... I'm going to just not... I'm not going to throw any more money in their pocket. Even though I didn't get this copy right here, it came with my shit. Well, technically, I did throw some money in the pocket because I bought the damn GPU. And that profit, I guess, went to fucking WB and them shit. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not going to spend another 60 on the game that I already have. And all I have to do is wait. 
I'm just gonna wait. Fuck it. New release date for the PC version. Whatever. I wait it out. It shit is. It pisses you off when you have to go through shit like this. And I can see why a lot of people are starting to complain. Like, man, they're really dogging PC on shit like this. They really are. Fuck. God damn it, I got a PS4, but motherfucker, I don't... Some games I want on PC instead of PS4. Shit. Jeez. Get your shit straight. Anyway, this is IDCL, and yes, I'm back. And I'm out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Peace.